and welcome back to the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. Here's a nice gopher rockfish we caught up at Big Sur. Uh, this is uh, about a 13 inch specimen. They don't get a whole lot bigger than this. One of the smaller rockfishes we have here in California. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and fillet them up. They will use a Rapala electric fishing knife and uh, pretty much just fillet them like most other fish. Important thing is to watch out for all the sharp spines. They can cause some trauma and also uh, irritation in your skin. They're not poisonous like the um, some other fish that you might catch. And this fish, as the last one, has been gutted and gilled on the shore where I caught him and fed the seagull as well. So that's an important thing if you want your fish to keep fresh and then I put them straight on the ice. So I've got the fillet knife. Let's go ahead and start filleting this guy. I grab the fin. Cut down to the spine, cut across behind the fins, then I cut down behind the back, along the backbone, across the spine. These guys have really tough ribs, so you have to cut through them or cut around them. Okay, so now I've done cut through all the ribs. Continue back towards the tail. There we go. So you see I've got nice fillet right there. <clears throat> and then I can just trim off those ribs. So I'll spin the fish around. <clears throat> I put some pressure on the ribs from the other side without cutting through the ribs because it cut your fingers. And then just cut down. Angle the knife up towards your fingers so you don't waste too much meat. There isn't much meat on the belly of rockfish anyways. By the time you take off the bones, that's why uh, you gotta do your best. There we go, just a little flap of bones, but not too much meat on there. And then uh, they also have this <clears throat> lateral Y bone uh, with along the lateral line, like most other fish, the, the pin bones. Very few of them, so you can just cut those ones out nicely, like that. And then can just take the flesh, cut the little entrails off, butthole, and then you just take the fillet off the skin. Now, make sure rockfish are a little bit more uh, tender skin than the lingcod, so it's easier to cut through and you can mess up your fillet. So be gentle, don't angle the knife too uh, much down. You gotta keep it a little bit flatter as you cut the, the flesh off the skin. And uh, just slowly, Cut through the flesh off the skin, just like that. Take out that little bone, just like that. And there you go, you have your fillet. Like I said, there isn't much belly on this fish, but uh, that's a good fillet right there for a nice rockfish. Now I'll go ahead and do the other side. Leave that one over there. Just in case you missed it the first time, go behind the fin. Cut down along the backbone, cut through the ribs. I like these fillet as they make short work of this fish. There we go, our fish is all done cleaning. Like I said before, I give these heads to my friend who makes soup with them. So that's it. I hope you learn how to clean a rockfish. And you can keep it if you do catch one over the size limit, which is 22 inches currently. And so I'm using a Rapala electric filleting knife today and just another filleting knife from uh, Bass Pro Shop. So I'll show you how I fillet the fish. First of all, I just go behind the large pectoral fin, cut down to the spine, like that, cut through. Now I have some friends who like eating the extra parts of the fish, so I save it for them. So 